What sort of historical context do we get as far as looking forward to this moment? You can start with uh, Adam, right? Adam is, uh, right after they're cast out of the garden, is told to make sacrifices, and eventually he is told why. Uh, and, and he's asked, do you know why you make these sacrifices? And he says, I know not, save the Lord commanded me. But then he's taught that this is in similitude of the only begotten son. And, and this uh, idea of the Lamb of God comes up, right? That, that this is a sacrifice that will uh, prefigure the sacrifice of Christ that will enable everyone to be restored to God's presence. And this is really meaningful for Adam, who was just with God and no longer is. Then we have prophecy after prophecy, Isaiah and so on. But if we get to Christ's time, this has become really meaningful to them, this idea of a Messiah, someone who will be sent because they feel oppressed. Mm -hmm. The the Romans have uh, taken over the country. Uh, Taxation is very, very difficult, especially those who are poor and are struggling. Uh, they're the ones who are really feeling this clamp of, of Roman oppression, right? And uh, it, it's both an emotional and a financial thing. And so they are looking for a deliverer, not fully understanding that this deliverance is bigger than deliverance from Rome. Someone is coming who will deliver them from death and hell itself. <laughs> 